flat earth, one of the most controversial theories of all time. And I'm gonna be honest, I've never even looked into it because there's such a stigma around. We're gonna talk about the Flat Earthers. What is a Flat Earth Society, by the People way? People who believe the Earth is flat. Still? Yeah. yeah. That was a joke about the world being flat, right? Was it? <laughs> but I wanted to try something different and come up with a new segment for these conspiracy videos. I wanna to talk to somebody who believes in a crazy conspiracy theory, and they have to try to convince me to believe in it too. So I went to the biggest conspiracy theorist I know, my brother. Yeah, that should be. Okay, I am here with my brother, Jared, who might be an even bigger conspiracy theorist than me. If that's even possible, <laughs> but I'm trying. So I want to talk to you about the flat earth theory because it's something that you've kind of touched on and I always kind of like move on because I've heard it's so crazy. It is very crazy. In order for you to even start to take it seriously, you have to put yourself in the mind frame of people that believe in the flat earth. And why would they even want to believe in the flat earth? Well, you're saying they, so you don't believe it? Um, I'm open to the idea. I don't know, for me at least, it's hard for me to pinpoint what I believe. So I'm open to both. Same. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> this is not like a bisexual thing. Okay. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm down for the flat earth, but that round earth got me too. <laughs> okay. I'm a weekend flat earther. <laughs> okay, so we have to be in the mindset, right? Yeah, so you gotta be in the mindset. So you have to think about the foundation of it. All the information that we get about the earth, about space, the moon, and all these things comes from NASA. Every picture that you've ever seen is given to you by NASA. So NASA is also associated with the moon landing being a hoax. One small step for man. They are some of the most famous images in history. But why are there no stars in the night sky? Why is the American flag waving here when there was no air to cause any breeze? There are moments where the crosshairs lie behind equipment. Well, guys fall forward and looks like they get yanked up by wires. Reflected in the visor is a mysterious object. I'm sure that's something that everyone at this point has heard of, yeah. right? All the pictures that they take of the Earth are composite images, so no images that we see are actually ever a camera from real far away looking at the Earth. Wait, what, what do you mean? They're all composite images, because they can't just get it all in one shot, so they have to go around the Earth and take a bunch of pictures, and then they piece it together. International Space Station residents only see about 3% of Earth's surface at any one time. If you zoom in on them, there's cloud formations that repeat several times, which how could that ever really happen? They're just copying and pasting things. There's a small problem with it because there's a very slight gap in between each orbit. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. That's one thing that builds distrust because you have to have distrust of who's giving you your information to feel like maybe the flat Earth is visible, right? It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Well, and even so, the moon landing is one of those things where like, maybe 20 years ago, everybody thought, oh, that's stupid, that's crazy. But now, I feel yeah. like kind of everybody's down for the moon landing. Being I mean, they say all the footage of the original moon landing was lost. You know what they think happened to the original moon tapes? Is they might have been taped over. It's not a cassette, it's not an old mixtape from college. We've been unable to, to, to track it down. And as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. It's incredible that we can keep track of Egyptian pots from 2,000 years ago, but we lose tapes made only 40 years ago. Oh, wait. So we lose all the footage and all the technology was destroyed. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology. And then, if you take science into consideration. Science only works if you have one magical event that no one has to actually have proof for. Everything stems from the Big Bang Theory. Something the size of a pinhead, two atoms connecting, blowing up and creating everything that's in this universe. In a millionth of 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 a second, it went from a size smaller than an atom to bigger than a galaxy. Right, and then Einstein thought of the theory of gravity, which is just a theory. You have the Big Bang Theory, the theory of gravity. So now we have a disbelief for these things. The last thing that you have to think about is religion. So in the Bible, it talks about the sea, there's the sky, there's the firmament. What the firmament is, is a dome. 
It says that in the Bible. Yeah. There's a firmament, so the dome shaped, the heavens are above it, and then it talks about how the earth expands to its four corners. So that also would make you feel like there could be a flat shape to it. Okay, so really quick, give us a breakdown. What is the flat earth theory and why does it exist? So the flat earth theory is that we are not on a ball, we're not on a sphere. We're on something that's flat, a flat plane, a planet, right, is just the word plane with a T. And Antarctica, which is in the very south, is an ice wall that's around all of the continents. So instead of us being able to go around the world, it's all enclosed by Antarctica's ice wall. So the United Nations map is actually the flat earth map model. They have actual borders around this, and then you see all the continents spread out. So if this was a globe, they spread it out like this. So that's the model that they believe in. There's an Arctic ice wall around it. And one reason this gets perpetuated and people think it's valid to think Antarctica is the barrier is because in the late 50s, there was a treaty signed by almost all the major countries of power to not let anybody go into Antarctica. So if you try to get close to Antarctica, they're gonna tell you, get the hell out of here. You could go on little explorations of it, but nothing without a bunch of people monitoring you, right? And planes don't fly over it. All flight patterns take you away from Antarctica. No one's flying directly over it. They always take a weird route. Like there was an airplane that was going from the Philippines to Los Angeles, which should be a straight route, Philippines to Los Angeles. Mid-flight, a woman, her water broke. So they had to make a emergency landing. They could have either just turned around or kept going to Los Angeles. Somehow they ended up in Alaska. So the flight plan, to get them from Philippines to Alaska, if you put it on a flat earth map, it's a straight line from the Philippines to Alaska. But when you put it on a globe, it makes no sense, right? <laughs> so there's like, let, let me break some stuff down. The world that we live in, let's really analyze this. We live in a world that is all based on material things. Materialism really is what controls the country. Mm -hmm. Money, uh, really it's about sex, it's about objects. This is my shoe closet. I see it is my closet. Everything in here would be designer, Gucci, Louis, Versace. It's about egos and how people feel about themselves. All marketing is based off of fears and compulsions to make us be driven to want to do things, right? So our whole life is filled with um, billboards and advertisements and commercials and, and it keeps us very occupied on that surface level of life, right? And it makes it easier to control you. You know, music is a huge influence on the culture. You know, we had gangster rap 20 years ago. Rock you in your face, stab your brain with your nose bone. When I'm called off, I got a saw dog. Squeeze the trigger and body's a hard dog. And then all of a sudden, the prison system started filling up even faster. You have nowadays with people talk, rapping about Xanax and opiates. Xanax gone fake, yeah. Designer shoes is an X town. Popping on X, popping on X. So obviously the kids now are putting themselves into a deeper slumper. Like they want to dumb us down and just make us robotic, you know, just to, just to make us feel like just pawns in a chess game. Uh, think about like marijuana. We live in a world where there's a seed that if you put it in dirt in front of your house, you could possibly go to jail. Arrested for selling brownies laced with pot. Jacob Avoro now faces a possible life sentence. You were sentenced to life without parole for possession of marijuana? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. They don't allow you to do psychedelic drugs. They make you feel like those are the devil and those are evil. But things like alcohol are legal. Prescription drugs are legal. You know, things that are really killing people. So they want to suppress us. Well, you think weed and like mushrooms and stuff, you think for the most part all that's illegal because why? Because things like weed or things like mushrooms, they expand your mind and they really put you into the universe and it puts you into perspective of what life is all about. For instance, there's a drug DMT. 90% of people that smoke this drug, when they first smoke it, they hear in their head, we're so happy you found this technology. Ew, oh my god, right? ew, so ew. Think about, so think about that. I mean, there's, so they want to get you into something where they can completely control you. I mean, we're at the point now where they put little machines in your house to basically do everything for you. Where you have phones to listen on everything to tell you your next purchase that you want to make. And then, on my Instagram feed, a commercial for Triscuits popped up. They're listening. They're listening in. I mean, they want to be able to go in your house and stock your groceries. That's true. That's just a test to see, are the people ready for that yet? Are they ready for us to go in their house and stock their fridge? Oh my God. Like, the flat earth kind of 
make sense if you think the simulation theory is real. Why wouldn't the Earth be flat? Why wouldn't there be an ending on each side? And Elon Musk, the guy that really made it popular. It, obviously this feels real. The odds that we're in base reality is one in billions. I don't, I don't think I'm being played by somebody in a video game. But then people in video games don't generally think that. <laughs> He's like a genius, everybody trusts him, he created Tesla, all these things. Well, one thing that he did that like a lot of flat earthers felt like was a personal attack was when he sent that car into space with a camera. It showed that the earth was round. And everybody's like, ah, see, flat earth is stupid. Elon Musk showed us that it's round. But in that video, there is a weird moment. And it's like a glitch. And it's a moment where it kind of looks like a green screen. You see the earth behind the car and then it's a studio and then it's back. Now that's been debunked, but it is weird that that happened. Who knows, maybe this is Elon Musk's way of giving us a little, a little Easter egg. Maybe he never actually shot this car into space. Cause this guy believes in this whole simulation theory. So why does he care about outer space? Maybe that was a little thing to put in there. Like, hey guys, let me give you a little idea that all of this is fake. All this space stuff is fake. You know what I'm saying? This is just a distraction. And then, where's the curve? Have you ever seen the curve of the Earth? You get your information from a book written by men you've never met. And you take their words as truth. I mean, they say, well, in an airplane, you could see it, but I can't see it. Yeah. You're at six feet tall. I can see about three miles ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And I can see about 20 miles in the panoramic setting. Right. If I'm 10,000 feet up, more than a thousand times taller than what I am, shouldn't I be able to see about a thousand times more at, at minimum? I mean, the Earth is only 24 thousand miles around. I should be able to see some kind of a curve. They send hot air balloons up. They just still see the same horizon. So if the Earth is flat, if the Earth is flat, why do the people in charge want us to think it's round? Because on a round Earth, hurling through space at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour, we're not really here for a purpose. We're just here coincidentally because of a big bang and the particles and evolution. But on a flat earth with the dome on top of it or even just a flat earth with just the heavens above, all of a sudden we have purpose. Think about if the moon knew your name, how personal you'd feel with the universe. Mm -hmm. You know the moon's name, but the moon doesn't know your name. Mm -hmm. You're not important to the moon. But what if the moon existed solely for you? Mm -hmm. What if the universe was for you? But instead the government wants you to feel like it's all unpredictable and at any point it's all gonna go to shit because we really don't matter anyways. We're just a, a rock flying through space. So it just makes us feel insignificant. And then and, that's easier for them to control. And the best way to take over people is to create conflict and to get them obsessive over things that don't really matter to their existence. It's a little Chanel mirror. Uh, <laughs> it is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. What do you like about Supreme? The hype and the exclusivity. So a lot of people are coming for the accessories, especially like the shovel yeah, or the Yeah, the guitar. shovel's kind of crazy. Why does everyone want the crowbar? Because it's a fucking crowbar. Are you fucking serious? Think about it. The earth literally grows things out of the dirt that provides you all you need to exist. Why the fuck are we going to McDonald's or to Starbucks or to all these places to spend all of our money? Oh my god, look black. at this beautiful drink. It looks so cool. Mmm, it tastes amazing too. There is a system built around society to control you within it. I'm off to McDonald's to see all the boys and girls. They constantly make you want more. So now that I'm thinking about that, why is everybody that even thinks maybe there's a possibility of the earth being flat called crazy? Because it's a way to discredit people. So by them calling you crazy, they've discredited everything about you. Mm. You know, once you find out someone is a flat earther, are you going to take anything they say seriously? You know, and then also, conspiracy theorist is a term created to make people look crazy in the first place. Right. Like, when did we become a society that instead of exploring theories, started calling things conspiracies? Like, it's almost they don't want you to be a free thinker. And then all of a sudden, when you started looking up on Google and YouTube about the flat earth, where six months ago, a year ago, it was all pretty cool videos that gave you reasons to believe maybe this is a possibility. Yeah. But now when you Google it, it's all sketches about how stupid it is, or like, people are so dumb and I can't believe people believe this. So it's almost, how do you stop information from spreading? You discredit all of it by flooding the information highways with the debunking stuff, or you're crazy if you believe this. The government actually has a website called the Flat Earth Society just to spread bad information. Why would the government put out information to debunk something that's clearly insane? You know, because right when you Google it, if all you see is you're crazy if you believe this, why would you want to look further into that? So it doesn't ever let you get to the point of the theory that really has value. 
the reason I like the theory, because it puts me in a place that I matter, that I have a purpose. There's design, this was designed as opposed to just coincidentally happening. That I somehow, you know, have meaning in this as opposed to I'm a speck of dirt on this planet that's just hurtling through space. Yeah. You know, and they don't want you to feel like that. So that really is what it is. In order to control the sheep, you have to make them feel like there's a gate there. So they constantly keep a gate there. There's, a, there's videos of sheep that they take out the barbed wire on a gate. And they believe the gate is still there. So they all smash against this area without being forced in by the gate. They've just been trained that this, this rectangular area that has a gate is where you stay. They could go at any point, it's just they're brainwashed into believing that that gate's still there, right? What would they think if all of a sudden they realize there's, there's no gate there, I can run free? What would that do to the sheep herder? The sheep herder has to make those sheep believe that they're stuck there and their only purpose is to follow him and do what he says. All we are is just getting furred for, our, for sweaters and chopped up for meat to eat, do you know what I'm saying? Oof. That's how we're being treated. What are oh sheep my God, for, do you know what so I'm saying? Okay, so now that we've talked about it, do you think the earth is flat. 100% honest, I don't care about the shape of the earth. <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, we're generalizing the theory when we just call it flat earth. Mm -hmm. Flat earth is just one variable, it's just the shape of the earth. Mm -hmm. Do I believe that this earth was designed to have things on it that could have purpose? Yes. So I see myself attracted more to it than I do a Big Bang Theory where people evolved and we're just here because of a cycle and that's pretty much it. And then at any point an asteroid's gonna hit us and we're all gonna be dust. So I subscribe to the ideology of the flat earth theory. As far as it being flat, it becomes less and less important to me as I dig into it. You know, what becomes more important to me is why am I here? And why am I here doesn't make sense unless you put it in context that things were created for a purpose. You know? Well then I guess if you put it that way, I guess I kind of believe it too. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well see, but you know, but, but we're not believing it's flat and all this. We're believing that it was created and it's not everything that it's been told to us, right? We're open to acknowledging that it isn't exactly what we've been told. That's all we're doing. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're not flat earthers. No, no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>